Talk about Mayor Lori Lightfoot only giving interviews to non-white journalists. Ooh, did you see yeah, this? Yeah, I saw this. That's fire. But it wasn't like, what did she say? There was like a two uh, thing minimum or something like that? Yeah, it was basically like one-on-one -on -one interviews. Yeah. Specifically in like this period of time, she's only doing white. And there was only two. There was only two that she was going to give out. Yeah. Like the headline is far crazier yeah, yeah, yeah. than what the actual story was. But yeah. it's the perfect headline to get like, especially conservative uh, Twitter and conservative YouTube absolutely furious. Because yep. it's preposterous what she's saying. She's only giving out interviews for people of color. Yep. It's the exact fear of all like these white people who are going, they're taking away our yeah. lifestyle. They're taking away our culture. It's illegal to be white in America. What the fuck is going on here? But what is the, the whole context? Were the interviews about a specific topic that had to do with people of color? Not necessarily. So like Something some people like are, crying. So, <laughs> I mean, just look at the numbers, you know? No, but it's basically like looking at her two year mayoral anniversary is coming up. Mm. And so some people are just like, oh, she's like kind of politicking because these one on one interviews that she's about to do with these people, she wants them to be generally positive. And so if she's able to get people interviews based off of like some sort of special privilege, they might be uh, uh, they might be more lenient mm. with her. So she's not even doing this to be woke. She's doing well, it to protect herself. There's one thing that I caught in the article Mark linked, which was made it seem like performative wokeness because uh -huh. they interviewed they posted they interviewed journalists of multiple races yeah, and yeah. they said uh other journalists y'all gonna let him read his notes and he don't get made fun of who agreed with y'all gonna let him read his notes and he don't get made fun of he is a dork this is guy so this get... isn't fair how come i get made fun of and all that doesn't this isn't fair they're silencing white men <laughs> The only people of color are gonna have notes, okay? Yeah. Fucking cuck. <laughs> only comedians oh, of color. God. All right. I just got fully cucked, bro. <laughs> First did. episode back, they bro. gonna cuck me, dude. Yeah. Akash is a cock, bro. Comedian yeah. of color, you got yeah, it. That's true. I'm a yeah. cock, bro. Yeah, I'm a, a little cock. Okay. Yeah. I'm a little cock. <laughs> I'm a little cock. <laughs> okay. Keep they going. They said no, multiple keep journalists going. of color who spoke to the Post said that when they tried to question Lightfoot on her administration on issues like police violence, public schools, and housing, they've been met back with silence or dismissal. So uh, when we want to ask you about some real shit that affects the communities of color, you don't give us anything. You push back, you uh, silence us, you dismiss us, and now you're doing this gesture of, oh, I'm only letting journalists of color interview me. It seems like performative wokeness. It's definitely performative. She could have just done it and not said nothing. True. <laughs> That's what's weird. It's like, it's like, like yeah. most people. Yeah. <laughs> That's what like, white people do. That's why they get shit done. Yeah. So I think the story broke because I think a white chick hit her up and was like, yo, can we do an interview? And she said, her office was like, sorry, we're only doing interviews with. She's like, nah, you're black. Or no, you're not black. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I mean, think what she, a dumb thing to she do. broke the story, I think. Yeah. I mean, I understand, like, it's smart if she wants to protect herself. She's like, nah, a black person not going to throw me under the bus or whatever. Especially if I'm doing this performative thing. It's yeah. like, yo, on the strength, like. Candace Owens need to pull up. <laughs> oh, I would like to do the fire. interview. Candace, Candace need to pull up and say she want to do that interview, bro. That'd be fine. Yeah. That would be 100% because what you going to say? Then it's going to expose what it really is, right? Yeah. Which is, I just want you to give me softball questions in mm -hmm. this interview so I look good. Mm. Which I understand from a, poli a politician's a politician, perspective. Like, yeah, it's like, hey, well, why are we acting like politics ain't exactly that? It's performative measures. Like, performative everything they bullshit. Yeah. They just normally mask it better. Because, like, Trump yeah. was one of the first ones that was like, yo, I'm only doing interviews with people that fuck with me. Yeah. And people killed him for it because they're like, yo, like, pretend. But yeah. he would say that, but then the most lit ones were the ones where he was just in front of the wolves and they were coming after him and he was clapping back. Right. Like, the worst thing he did is not let them clap at him because that was entertaining. And that shit was so <laughs> fire, yeah, bro. Yeah, he would always win somehow. Oh, yeah. Dude. Just shut him down. It's over. That's yeah. the dope thing about interviews. You could be like, I'm out. Yeah. And, like, it's not like they could be like, well, what do you have to do? It's like, motherfucker, I'm president. Why am I even talking to y'all? <laughs> like, I got a president. Yeah, I guess politicians are all performative, but I hate seeing the politician in you. Like, mm. then I know you're like, when I see how full of shit you are, I'm off board. Yeah. You got to at least try to convince me. Barack is a politician, but that motherfucker comes across like a human being. Yeah. And we yeah. love Barack for that. That's Just the art. Fucking nailing threes at an open but gym and walking you, off. Didn't you like that about Trump that he was so not a politician? Yeah, because it didn't seem like the fraudulence. This guy is so like, openly she's, she's, petulant and all that other shit. Like, fights everybody, don't give a fuck. At least that's a, I'm not conned by that. I don't see an act. Yes. I see a person being himself. This bitch, it seems like she's acting. I'm out. Barack oh. didn't seem like he was acting in a very different way than Trump, but I like that. Yeah, but you guys just said politically the way to do it is just by doing this without saying it. Mm. That would have been the political thing to do. And right now, she's being like, yo, I'm only speaking to black people. That's more real. But again, if if I didn't see that little note that I read off straight off my phone and it was completely okay that I did it, <laughs> I wouldn't feel that way. I'd be like, all right, whatever. Any of you, I take questions from Indians all day. You know what mm. I mean? Just don't ask me about the farmers. I'd be forgetting sometimes. <laughs> Everything else, bet. Let's go. 
I don't like this, like, oh, hey, I'm only interviewing black people, but then when they ask you about real issues, uh, I'm not talking to you about yeah, that. That's, that that's, shit that's bothers me. Yeah, that's a, that's that a, bothers me. I see what he's saying. He's like, yo, you can ride for your people, but if you really ride for your people, you're going to answer those questions yeah. about the you problems fix that, that shit. people got. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what one of the journalists say. He's I like, don't give us little like interviews. Like, Actually implement policy to help us. Bang. Do something. I hate performative wokeness. That shit yeah, kills me. Yeah, a little Lori Lightfoot. Yeah. <laughs> Don't that sound like a nickname from around the way? You know what yeah. I mean? Yo, yeah. I got some firehead yesterday. From who? A little Lori Lightfoot? <laughs> from, a little Lori Lightfoot yeah. tiptoeing over here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Floating on Bless over. the kid. <laughs> yeah. Is it crazy to talk about someone like that? No. no. I mean, we talk about people like that. We're not saying it's her. Yeah, we're saying yeah. a hypothetical person. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's not really Lori Lightfoot. No, nah. it's a hypothetical Lori Lightfoot. It's yeah. a hypothetical. It's so a Native fat, American. Fast ass yeah. young little Native American. <laughs> fast ass little Native American yeah, girl. Baby fat. Yeah. Fast ass girl, <laughs> bro. Mean, that's worse. What? <laughs> Fuck. Make my Native, Native American. Yeah. But she was a fast Wait, young girl. Why can't you bro? hook up with Native Americans? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Huh? <laughs> nah, I was just I thought it would be fucked up, but nah. Yeah. They got names like that, Lightfoot. But I don't think we're allowed to call them by those names. I mean, that's, they made up the their name, names, bro. Dog. But I thought only people from their tribe can Man, call them. Man, who shit. gives a fuck, bro? <laughs> yeah, I hate when we do this shit. Like we didn't already kill them. Like, what yeah. is this other shit we're no, doing? Extra we, changing we know team it. No, we know that. No, we know that. Y'all killed them. Oh. Oh. Accept that shit. Bruh, they Don't dead. put that on you. Oh, you you ain't killed no one. He's doing this for you. I'm trying to help you out. I know. He's doing this for you. Who gives a fuck? I was getting red in the face right now. They dead, bro. Whoever killed him. 